High school football action, a service of Landall Company, Blue Valley Technologies, Axtell Trust Manufacturing, Wanklin Oil, State Bank of Axtell, m r Auto Parts, Wilson Construction, Parthamer Electric, B&D Buildings, Frankfurt Area News, the Western National Bank, Little Joe's Service, First National Bank in Frankfurt, Axtell and Hometown Lumber, f a Construction, j r Market, Soother Feeds, and JD Construction. Also by our regional sports boosters, and they include United Bank and Trust, Channel Seed, Broda Implement, Kramer Oil, Honeyman Auto, Sing Gordon and Associates, Hometown Lumber, Sunflower Community Credit Union, and Can Equip. Raise your hand if you need more internet speed. It's time to get your hands on much faster internet. Don't settle for yesterday's internet speed when you have a home full of today's devices. Upgrade your Blue Valley Technologies internet speed now to the speed you need and get a $50 bill credit. If you're new to Blue Valley, you get two months free and everyone gets free installation on managed Wi-Fi. Visit bluevalley.net forward slash raise your hand today. The demand for Landall products is real. Landall's orders are overflowing for all three product lines. If you or if you know of someone looking for an excellent career opportunity that offers stable employment and outstanding benefits, contact Landall Company in Marysville, 785-562-5381, or apply online at landall.com slash careers. Positions available in Marysville, Waterville, Beloit. EEO Vets and Disability, welcome. You don't ask that much from your propane provider. Just the basics. Competitive pricing, quick delivery, reliable service. And if there's an emergency, the assurance that you won't be left out in the cold. You get all of that from Wanklin Oil. If you're not getting what you want from your current propane dealer, call Wanklin Oil at 1-800-794-2019. Jared, Dennis, or Zach will make the transition easy. It's not a hassle. Wanklin Oil is covering more of Northeast Kansas and can get to you right away. Wanklin Oil, 1-800-794-2019. We've had the energy since 1926. Your hometown partner with any do-it-yourself project is Hometown Lumber of Marysville and Axtell Lumber of Axtell. Serving the community for over 20 years, expert knowledge accompanied by a helpful smile and reassuring handshake will tell you you're in the right place. With all your building needs, they are ready to help you. Stocked with a full line of lumber and hardware to go along with tools, plumbing supplies, paint, and lawn and garden, you'll leave knowing you've made the right choice by stopping at Axtell Lumber and Hometown Lumber in Marysville. In tonight's KNDY featured game of the week, the Axtell Eagles host the Frankfurt Wildcats. Sitting at 6-0 and and consensus number one overall team in eight-man Division II, the Eagles will look to knock off TVL foe Frankfurt. Both teams come in after winning last Friday night. Frankfurt used a big second half to pull away from Blue Valley 58-12 as Axel handled Hanover 62-14, and Axel's offense has yet to score under 58 points in a game. Not to be outdone, Frankfurt brings in a younger team but a high-powered offense led by freshman quarterback Wes Anderson. In this battle of familiar faces and high-powered offenses, we are sure to see some points put up tonight here in Axtell. Now settle in. It is time to sit down and talk with the coaches. For engineered roof and floor trusses, call on Axtell Trust. 12 to 80-foot span, complete hip, cathedral, and floor systems, using only the best SYP available. Delivered to your site undamaged on a roll-off trailer. Manufactured locally at Axtell Truss on U.S. Highway 36, two miles west of K110 between Seneca and Marysville. Phone 785-736-2291. To keep your vehicle running good and looking good, all you need is m Auto Parts in Frankfurt. Motor oil, air filters, spark plugs, batteries, brakes, and more. m also has what you need for the outside of the vehicle. Wheel cleaners, glass cleaners, washes, and waxes. That's m Auto Parts, your CarQuest Auto Parts dealer in Frankfurt. The State Bank in Axtell is synonymous with quality and integrity in the banking business. Financing for your home, for your farm, or your small business. Contact the loan officers if you need money. Or if you're putting money away for something special. Or just saving for a rainy day. Visit with the professionals at the State Bank of Axtell. They're federally insured. Member FDIC, the State Bank of Axtell.
call Parthamer Electric at 268-0553. At Parthamer Electric, we specialize in residential and commercial electrical services and are dedicated to providing customer service that is second to none. Parthamer Electric won't leave the job until you're satisfied. Parthamer Electric is available at all hours and offers flexible services for indoor or outdoor jobs. You can visit us on the web at the Parthamer Electric Facebook site or give us a call at 268-0553. Parthamer Electric in Frankfurt. Welcome into today's show. I am joined now by head coach of the Frankfurt Wildcats, Nick Anderson. Coach, 58-12 to win against Blue Valley last week, getting to 3-3 three and three on the season. How important was that just to get back to 500? Oh, you know, it was really important, uh, you know, with it being a league game and a district game. And, um, you know, as you get into getting down to the end of the season, you, you really want to stack up as many district wins as you can, especially the being in the district that we're in. It's, it's super challenging. So I'm um, very happy for the kids, um, you know, with going 3-0 and to start and with two tough ones coming up. Looking at that game, especially on the defensive side, we you played excellent defense, a lot of hats to the ball. But talk about the game for Trent Harden there. Uh, he kind of had a, a breakout performance. Uh, he had five and a half sacks on the night, and and you know a lot of those were in, in third and fourth down situations that either you know turned the ball over for them or, or made them punt and you know gave us the ball back. So he's he's learning. And, you know he's super athletic and, and super talented. He's just got to learn the nuances of, of playing that defensive end position, and, and he's come a long way. So we're awfully excited of what he can do in the future. I think you used an excellent word there throughout the season. It has been learning with you, especially now looking at that game too. You kind of opened it up in the second half. Maybe it came out a little flat. How nice was it though to see the team flip that switch on and turn it around? Yeah, we did. We started off um, sluggish. Uh, they did a couple things schematically that uh, kind of caught us off guard early, but uh, we were able to make a few adjustments and, and focus on running the ball to start the second half. And, um, we got a late touchdown. That's Time expired right before half, and then we got the ball to start the second half and scored on both those possessions. So um, we were really able to extend our lead and, and kind of uh, flip the momentum of, at that point in time. And how much do you like to see that, especially from a younger team too? You know, sometimes you get a lot of seniors in there and they can do that, but having a younger team such as yourself, how nice was that to see? It was It was good. We were, you know, the kids were positive at halftime. We understood we, we didn't play very well in the first half and we're, we're still up 10 and, and had the ball coming out. So, we felt like we were in a good spot, but I was really pleased on how um, you know they responded after halftime and with a couple quick scores. You talked about a little bit earlier there, of course, opening up district play, very good. You have a tough one against Axel. Everyone knows number one team in the state there, but how do you prepare and how does this week look in preparation in terms of for you guys? You know, we just got to continue to be about the process and, and worrying about us getting better. We can't control, you know, the talent level that Axel has and, you know, the experience they have and, and all that. All we can do is worry about us, and, and hopefully we can go over there and play our first, our best football and see what happens. As soon as that ball kicks off, you honestly, you just kind of never know what's going to happen. So, Nick, I appreciate your time again today. We'll just do it again next week, and best of luck with Axel here coming up. I appreciate it. D&D Buildings of Axel specializes in post-frame buildings. Give them a call for stud-framed buildings with complete concrete and electrical work included. It's one call to get the job done. B&D Building, specializing in post-frame building construction, plus repairs and more. Always free estimates. Give them a call. B&D Buildings of Axtell, 785-294-0147. B&D Buildings at 785-294-0147. Stay connected, stay informed. Get the Frankfurt community's top stories every week. Frankfurt Area News is a small town community newspaper dedicated to their advertisers, subscribers, and community. The Frankfurt Area News was established in 1991 and is the official paper of the City of Frankfurt, City of Vermilion, and USD 380. They love receiving news from their readers. If you have an engagement, wedding, birth, family reunion, or something you think local readers would enjoy, or to subscribe, get in touch with the Frankfurt Area News at 292-4726. Western National Bank in Summerfield wants you to feel good about where you are with your money. Available when you need them and offering online and personal services, Western National Bank will make sure to keep you and your money happy. Call Western National Bank at 244-6211 to make your money smile. Member FDIC. 
FNA Construction will build it right. Call today for a quick quote if you're building, remodeling, or adding on. Enjoy your home more and increase its value with FNA Construction. They'll tackle your every project to make sure it's done right. For complete construction services, call on FNA Construction today at 292-4692. That's 292-4692. Welcome to today's program. I'm joined now by head coach of the Axel Eagles, Eric Detweiler. Coach, you took on Hanover, came away victorious 62-14. to What did you see from your team in that game last Friday? Well, I thought, you know, our kids came out and played exceptionally well. We knew Hanover was going to, you know, throw some stuff at us that, uh, you know, that we probably hadn't seen. And, and, you know, they did that. And how we adjust on the fly is, you know, a credit to our team. They got uh, two, you know, longer uh, touchdown passes over top of us but other than that i thought we played exceptionally well and and uh, you know our kids come out and uh, with great enthusiasm and and uh, you know quite honestly you need to anytime you play Hanover, they're well coached and mm-hmm. and uh, you know had our number in the years past and, and so we're just kind of glad to get one back with them how important has that like preparation been each week and especially here now that you know the calendar's kind of almost already turned into playoff time yeah you know it is we always got to stay focused i tell our kids just to you know, take each week, uh, you know, day by day. And, and uh, you know, before you know, the game day will be here. And, and uh, you know, I thought our kids was exceptionally focused last week. And, and uh, you know, I thought it showed on Friday night. As the season does kind of wind down, Eric, what's something that you've learned about this team throughout the course of the first uh, six weeks? Well, you know, I thought our kids, you know, just seem to play, you know, exceptionally well. You know, they play, they gel together on Friday night. It seems like a lot of times in practice, um, sometimes I don't think we have a good week of practice and, and, uh, you know, they proved me wrong on, on Friday night. So, uh, you know, I guess I'm learning, you know, they're finding their own identity out there on the field. Uh, you know, they, you know, they maybe play a little bit better than they practice, but, you know, as of late, our practice has been a whole lot better than it had to start it out with. And, and I think sometimes our kids just kind of need to get into the groove of things and, and, uh, you know, kind of get normal, you know, normalcy back to, you know, to what, it, what football life is like. And, and, uh, you know, they're, in a, they're doing a good job of that. You talk about your team there, and it sounds to me a very player-led team. How, as being a coach, how nice is that to, you know, not being able to set back and let the boys do it, but, you know, they'll hold themselves accountable? Yeah, you know, these kids, uh, we have, a, you know, a really athletic group of, bo- group of boys, and, and uh, you know, just they, a lot of times they're making adjustments on the field themselves, and, and uh, you know, that's what really makes you a good team, and, and quite honestly makes me look a lot better than I, you know, than I probably should be, you know, but, you know, these guys are adjusting and, and uh, you know, they read defenses and offenses really well. And, and uh, you know, I'm just proud of the way that, uh, you know, these kids are playing and, and adjusting on the fly. Well, Coach has still got to wrangle their kids in, so i got to give you some credit there, Coach, of course. Now in this game coming up against Frankfurt, another familiar opponent just kind of down the road, what do you want to see besides the preparation, I guess, game-wise, uh, from your team in this game? Well, you know, just stay focused. You know, there's still, uh, you know, every game has implications. You know, I, we always have a goal of a, uh, you know, undefeated, you know, districts and, and uh, you know, obviously an undefeated season. And, and uh, so, you know, if you slip up once, why, you know, that kind of ruins all that, you know. So, you know, there's still league title, district title, uh, you know, Frankfurt, you know, uh, you know, close game, you know, for us. And, and uh, you know, so just a lot of things to play for. And, you know, we just need to stay focused. Bragging rights are always a implication in a game such as the matter. So, Coach, I appreciate your time again today. Best luck with Frankfurt coming up, and we'll just do her again next week. All right. Sounds great. Thank you. Friendly, personalized service to meet your banking needs. That's the standard at First National Bank, Frankfurt. My community bank has responded to the changes needed to keep my money safe and secure. They've switched to cards with the latest technology, which is safer and more secure than before. My community bank provides safety and security while staying on top of the latest banking trends. Let First National Bank's brand of banking be responsive to your needs. First National Bank, Frankfurt, proud to be your community bank. Member FDIC. Stocked with the freshest produce and always fresh meat counter, JNR Market in Frankfurt is your full service grocery. Start saving today with weekly specials. The JNR Market app makes shopping a breeze, so you're in and out and on your way. Open seven days a week for your convenience, Monday through Friday, 7 30 a.m. until 7 p.m., Saturday 96, Sunday 9 to 5. Freshest produce, best selection, greatest value, JNR Market in Frankfurt. 
Little Joe's 66 Service in Axtell is a proud supporter of Axtell Schools and Axtell Athletics. If you have automotive repair needs, call Joe at 785-736-2824. With satisfied customers from all over the area, Little Joe's 66 Service is the place to turn for all of your automotive repair needs. Your opportunity, your solution, your success. That's Soother Speed's approach, and that's what sets us apart. I'm Leanne Linton, and I invite you to experience the Soother difference. We're about visiting the ranch, walking your pins, and weighing the options to develop a ration combination that will be the most efficient and profitable for your business. Soother's, a family-owned company that identifies opportunities and applies solutions for your success. Soother Feeds in Frankfurt and online at SoutherFeeds.com. Soother Feeds, where your success is our success. Now it's time to meet the starters. Coming in at 3-3 three and three and led by head coach Nick Anderson, the Frankfurt Wildcats are looking to make some noise tonight. In the backfield, they are led by Wes Anderson and Brock Armstrong. On the slot wide receiver, Lane Loisau, Trent Harden, Ty Smith, and Carter Olson will split slaps, snaps there. And on the line, Jake Steffies, Xander Hall, and Wyatt Keller round out your starting offensive eight. Flipping to the other side of the ball, the same eight. Steffi's Hall and Harden will man the line. Armstrong and Keller are your linebackers. And Smith, Olsen, and Loisau will set in the backfield. Once again, Frankfurt comes in, setting at 3-3 three and three and led by head coach Nick Anderson. Flipping to the home side, the Axel Eagles come in 6-0 and and are led by head coach Eric Detweiler. Starting with the offensive starters for the Axel Eagles, Isaac Detweiler is your quarterback. Eli Broxerman and Brandon Smelsley will be at his side at running back. Grady Bussing and Evan Bussing are your tight ends. And on the line is Owen Strothman, Sawyer Dieters, and Grant Bussing will be in the middle of that line. Flipping to the defensive side of the ball, same way for Frankfurt, same eight boys. Strothman, Dieters, Bussing will man the line. Detweiler, Bussing, Grady Bussing, that is, at linebacker. And Eli Broxerman will round out the linebackers with Smelsley and Evan Bussing in the defensive back position. Once again, Axel setting at 6-0, Frankfurt setting at 3-3. Three and three. It's going to be a great night for football. Have an accident with your vehicle? Call Moonlight Restoration and they'll take care of you with a free estimate and they'll turn it into the insurance company for you. You name it, they can do it. Fender benders, auto and tractor restoration, windshield repair or replacement, spray and bed liners, sandblasting, dealer and installer of B&W hitches and drop and lock hitches. No job is too large or too small for Moonlight Restoration. If you want quality work done by skilled technicians, call Moonlight Restoration in Axtell, Kansas. Owned and operated by Brett and Nikki Runnebaum. Call 736 736- 2359. Your hometown partner with any do it yourself project is Hometown Lumber of Marysville and Axtell Lumber of Axtell. Serving the community for over 20 years, expert knowledge accompanied by a helpful smile and reassuring handshake will tell you you're in the right place. With all your building needs, they are ready to help you. Stocked with a full line of lumber and hardware to go along with tools, plumbing supplies, paint, and lawn and garden, you'll leave knowing you've made the right choice by stopping at Axel Lumber and Hometown Lumber in Marysville. If your vehicle is looking like it just went through a money rally race, or perhaps it's been target practice for the neighborhood bird gang, then you need to get your car washed today at the Axtell Car Wash. The Axtell Car Wash has two enclosed self-service bays, even one size for semi-tractors. Just pull in, pay with your bank card, and wash all the dirt, mud, bugs, and bird stuff off your vehicles. You don't have to drive far to get a clean car. Just visit the Axtell Car Wash, proud supporter of the Axtell Eagles. KNDY FM Marysville is FM 95.5 on air online and on our mobile app. JD Construction wants to make your dream home a reality. Whether you want to build a custom home, remodel your current home, or add a new deck or patio, JD Construction can handle all your residential construction needs. They are also experts when it comes to agriculture and residential buildings. For small or large projects, consider a custom building from JD Construction. They'll give you high-quality work while staying on schedule and budget. Contact Jared Smith at 785-353-2312. From start to finish, it's J.D. Construction. 
Welcome into Friday Night Football. This is Max Blasky joining everyone here on KNDY Radio. We have the Axel Eagles versus the Frankfurt Wildcats in tonight's KNDY featured game of the week. Of course, listening live here on 95.5 and listen live online all the time at the KNDY radio. We have an absolutely wonderful night here for football folks as the 6-0 Axel Eagles play host to downstreet rival Frankfurt Wildcats. Frankfurt coming in with a record of 3-3. Three and three. Of course, Axel really needs no introduction. Coming off their state championship last year, obviously headlining the state bracket to repeat again this year, but they first must make it through the regular season and this tough Frankfurt Wildcats team tonight. As you can hear behind me, the music is going. There's a couple hundred people here tonight for a wonderful game on the south end of Axel here at the Axel Sporting Complex. Kickoff is about ready to begin here in Axel. It's an absolutely beautiful night. Clouds have set. The sun is out. Of course, it's parents' night here, too, for Axel as they honored all the football and cross-country players here tonight. Freshmen through seniors, all those parents need recognition. Kick off some Friday night football here on KNDY. It'll be Axel here ready to kick off first. Of course, Axel is led by their senior quarterback, Isaac Detweiler. As son of head coach Eric Detweiler, he will kick off for the Eagles. As number 24 for the Wildcats, Trent Harden and Lane Loisau will return for the Wildcats. Of course, Loisau dangerous in the backfield. Saw him return a kick against Washington. Very first part of the season. But we are just about underway here in Axel, and we're off. It's going to be a kick towards the back of the end zone. Go out the back of the end zone, and that's where the ball will be placed. Frankfurt Wildcats will start the game with the ball offensively. Of course, we ran through starters before, run through them here again real quick. Wes Anderson is in the back foot. Backfield, excuse me, number 12 freshman side to the side of him, Brock Armstrong and Lane Loisau, Trey Smith, Porter Colvin will run your wide receivers. Trent Harden will also get in there as well. And Wyatt Keller, Jake Steffies, and Xander Hall will man the line for this Frankfurt Wildcat team. On the other side of the line, Axel has some size up front on their defensive front. They like to play a two-line men with three to four linebackers crowding the line, try and get out in space and cause some havoc getting through the gaps. It's going to be Wes Anderson first off here with Lois down the backfield with, with him. Anderson's going to take a shot, dog, shot deep first off, and it's going to be long and two incomplete shooting for number 33, Carter Olsen, getting the start here tonight at wide receiver. Of course, Nick Anderson brings his team in here tonight with the 3-3 three and three record coming off a win down at Blue Valley. Was powered by a big second half in that game. If you haven't paid attention, we've done some Frankfurt games already. Frankfurt likes to air it out and throw the ball, attack the teams down the middle and on the perimeter. So we're looking for a high-scoring game tonight. Of course, Axel in their own right has a very powerful offense, has not scored under 54 so, so far this season, so it's going to be who bends and who breaks first tonight in this game. It's going to be Anderson in the backfield with Armstrong to his right. It's going to be sweep around to the right side and getting nowhere is actually Lysol there. Excuse me, Lane Loisau with a run for no game. So, so far, the actual Eagles defense has cut out very strong so far. Here now a third and ten for the Frankfurt Wildcats. Of course, this is my first time being over at Axel. If you haven't got a chance to get over here, an absolutely beautiful complex, brand new video board here on the south end of the end zone, beautiful field they've done over here in Axel. Looking at the jerseys here real quick because we're taking a little time. Frankfurt's going to be in the away white tops and the gray bottoms. Axel at home in their blue tops and white bottoms with white helmets. Quite a color combination tonight. No excuse for me to get it confused. It's going to be Frankfurt here with a third and ten. It's going to be Anderson back to pass it. He's going to come across. Middle shot is no good. Broken up. Incomplete. Isaac Detweiler, the first man to the ball there. So that's going to turn the ball over for the Wildcats and give it up to the Eagles with their first chance to score here in this game. Frankfurt taking a lot of time here already, 11 minutes to go here in the first quarter. Took a long time on that first drive. Didn't move it a yard, though, but this actually Axel defense as advertised in the first series. A late switch here for the Wildcats. Number 24, Trent Harden's going to run on, and it's going to be Anderson staying in the backfield. Now he's going to go back in pump formation. Looks like a little squib pump formation here real quick. 
flattens out, goes back to it. So they are indeed going to punt. It's going to be Keller Gunman here. Snap is away. Punt is away from the goal line. Was the punt going to be taken here at the 40, up to the 35, now to the 30. As Isaac Deadwire, Deadwire down the right side, breaks the tackle or two, well, and Isaac gets Deadwire down to about. We're going to call it the 30, 31 right there. So Axel with their first chance to get the ball here in this game, of course, led by senior. Quarterback Isaac Detweiler, Eli Broxerman will be with him in the backfield along with Brandon Smelsley. Axel likes to run their tight ends. Here we go. Two wide here to the right, right, one to the left. Axel likes to spread it out. Great field position here already. Excuse me, they're already on the 20, so I was a little off there. Still getting used to eight-man football. It's going to be Detweiler running option left. Going to keep it himself. A late pitch and a touchdown, Eagle. That was a excellent pitch, a late pitch there by Detweiler to run it in for the Eagles. But we do have some laundry on the field here. Let's see what we got. This might be in the area of holding. It was a pitch option, speed left. Usually you get those big linemen out, and they're actually going to call it a face mask on the Wildcats, so that's going to be good. So, Braden Smelsley rolls in to make it 6 nothing. Axel here with just under 11 minutes to go here in the first quarter. Great pitch there from Isaac Detweiler to Brandon Smelsley for the 20-yard touchdown run. Let's see if they can answer, too. So a quick score there by Axel as their defense held on Frankfurt's first possession, gave the offense great field position, and in one play, two plays, excuse me, the Axel Eagles found the end zone for the first time tonight. 6 nothing Eagles here early in the first quarter. It's going to be Detweiler back in shotgun. It's going to be a fake option. Now they're swinging out left, pass complete for the two-point conversion to Eli Brocksterman. So that makes it 8 nothing here. Eagles lead the Frankfurt Wildcats on KD Eli. We'll be right back. Raise your hand if you need more internet speed. It's time to get your hands on much faster internet. Don't settle for yesterday's internet speed when you have a home full of today's devices. Upgrade your Blue Valley Technologies internet speed now to the speed you need and get a $50 bill credit. If you're new to Blue Valley, you get two months free and everyone gets free installation on managed Wi-Fi. Visit bluevalley.net forward slash raise your hand today. The demand for Landall products is real. Landall's orders are overflowing for all three product lines. If you or if you know of someone looking for an excellent career opportunity that offers stable employment and outstanding benefits, contact Landall Company in Marysville, 785-562-5381, or apply online at landall.com slash careers. Positions available in Marysville, Waterville, Beloit. EEO Vets and Disability, welcome. Here at the Axel Sporting Complex in Axel, Kansas. Axel holds an early 8 nothing lead thanks to a 20-yard option run by Brandon Smelsley over the Frankfurt Wildcats. Frankfurt is going to get their second possession here in the first quarter as the ball goes into the end zone. That's going to be a touchback. So it'll be a first and 10 for the Frankfurt Wildcats here at their own 15-yard line. This Frankfurt offense looking to get, get their game going. Excuse me, here early on in this first game, went three and out on their first drive to start the game, not even able to gain a yard. This 2-3, oh, yeah, we'll call it a three linebacker set here for the Axel Eagles. is really causing some problems for these Frankfurt Wildcats. But we'll see if they can open it up here. Still early on in the game, 10-42 left to go here in the first quarter. 8 nothing Axel Eagles versus the Frankfurt Wildcats. It's going to be Anderson back to bat. He's going to come near side. Got to watch super wide open and through the hands of Lane Loy South. Boy, I tell you, if he would have caught that, he had some green grass in front of him. A beautiful pass there by Wes Anderson from the, his own end zone all the way up to midfield of the 40-yard line, but just couldn't quite hold it in as Lane Loy South. Lowe South. He's a little upset teammates calming him down. But if you're playing the Axel Eagles, that's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to take your shots downfield, and that's part of taking those shots. Sometimes they don't hit, but when they do, those lanes look to be open here tonight. 
So it's going to be Axel back on defense. Ball still at the 15-yard line with that two lineman, three linebacker, kind of three quarterback set for them. It's going to be Anderson in the backfield going far side to the visitor's sideline. It's going to be pass complete to Lane Loisau. And that's going to be a close to first down, I believe, for the Frank Wildcats. And they're going to call it a first down. So good play call there by head coach Nick Anderson to get Lois out back in this game with a good, easy pitch and catch from his quarterback. So Frankfurt taking a lot of time here, I've noticed, in the first two drives in between plays. Not a an obscene amount of time, but a little slower pace than we've seen them before. Of course, had the opportunity to do two Frankfurt games so far this year. They like to speed it up, but in this game, I wonder if Anderson's not going to try and slow it down. It's going to be a pass near side through the outstretched, outstretched arms of Lois Allen incomplete again. So, so far, Wes Anderson has that one completion. Actually, he had two completions. One went for gain of no yards. So two completions on about six passing attempts. Starting off two for six, but this Axel Eagle defense is all over the field. Getting good pressure up front, trying to see the numbers here. That's number 54, Grant Bussing, and I believe number 88, Sawyer Dieters there on the line for the Eagles. That's 220 pounds and 265 pounds of mass trying to get to the quarterback. And I tell you what, they're disrupting a little bit of that Frankfurt defense offensive line. Excuse me. It's going to be Frankfurt here, second and 10, 10, 16, left to go here in the first quarter. A slow rolling game, a lot of incompletions. Now Frankfurt's going to run an option play. It's going to be Loisel up the middle again for the gain of about two yards there. So that's going to bring up a long third down, and we're going to call it about eight. So, so far tonight, Frankfurt has obviously try to find the scenes passing wise like they always do but no luck so far tonight looking across the crowd a good frankfurt here crowd tonight guys if you aren't up here at the game course you can always listen live like you are 95.5 kndy or online all the time it's going to be frankfurt with a long third and six i'm going to call it here it's going to be anderson in the backfield he's on drawback pass two-man rush deep pass again towards the far sideline and just out of the reach of his wide receiver number 14 ty smith so so far axel dean doing a very good job of getting pressure with just their two defensive linemen when i first saw them lining up in the game i wondered how effective that was going to be but so far Grant Bussing and Sawyer Dieters are making their money's worth on that defensive line here for the Axel Eagles. With that incompletion, it stops the clock again. 9.27 left to go here in the first quarter. Game just got underway. Axel leading early on a 20-yard touchdown run from an option from, from Isaac Detweiler to Brandon Smellsley. Made it 8-0 Axel. going to be a pass downfield, tipped and incomplete. Boy, Isaac Detweiler is just all over the field tonight as he about had his hand on that pass. And, of course, that was fourth down as the Wildcats decide to Go for it there. That is no good. It's going to be Axel Eagle football already in Frankfurt territory at their own 30-yard line. So a roll of the dice there by Coach Nick Anderson, but one you almost have to take if you are facing this Axel Eagles team. Of course, Axel Eagles come in as the number one overall team in eight-man division two and showing why here early in this game. 8 nothing up on the Frankfurt Wildcats. Axel with their second possession let's see what they can come up with here it's going to be isaac detweiler of course in the backfield to his rear is going to be brandon smellsley it's going to be a fake quick screen pass now isaac's going to step up he's going to scramble got some yards in front of him isaac's got a first down and more pass there goes and picks up about 15 yards a good running pass there by senior quarterback isaac detweiler so we're going to give him a bounce. Oh, we're going to call it 15 yards on that play. As Axel has now moved on into Frankfurt territory even farther, setting at the 14-yard line of the Frankfurt Wildcats. It's going to be Axel knocking on the door yet here again, working north to south here on the south end zone going into a little bit of a breeze. It's going to be Isaac throwing her over the middle, and it's going to be incomplete ball just over the head of Evan Bushing. Couldn't quite find the seams there. Of course, first pass attempt for Isaac Detweiler. A little chilly night here in Axel. Everyone's got their sweatshirts on. I've even seen some stocking caps out there, some big wool gloves already. So those hands are a little cold tonight, but that's going to only continue 
to drop as the night goes on. Highs looking in the upper 40s tonight, so a chilly one here at the Axel Sporting Complex. It's going to be the Eagles with a second down and 10 at about the 14-yard line of the Frankfurt Wildcats. Frankfurt in their 3-3-by-3 three, three three set, or excuse me, that's 9-3-by-2-by-3. Three three. It's going to be an easy pitch and catch out there to the flat. It's going to be caught short, no good, and we're going to have a flag on the play. So I believe that pass went to Grady Bushing. A good catch and run there from the big man, Grady, 175 pounds. Looks like he got taken down, I believe, by a face mask. So already we might have our second early penalty here on the Wildcats. Let's see what we got here. Of course, Ax, or excuse me, Frankfurt having a little trouble stopping this Axel offense, but they are not the only ones so far this year. I mentioned it a little bit earlier. Axel has not scored anything less than 54 so far in this season. So this offense is high-powered and will continue to run. So it's going to be from the two-yard line, a first and goal for the Eagles. It's going to be, of course, Detweiler in the back with Broxerman behind him. Hands on his knees. It's going to be one split left, one split right. It's going to be Detweiler taking the snap. We're going to run a little slant ball. Popped up in the air. Incomplete. Good job there by the defensive lineman of the Frankfurt Wildcats. Couldn't quite catch who that was. No, Trent Harden's over there on that side somewhere. But just getting his hands up. That's going to be a key tonight for this Frankfurt defense is just to get their hands up if they can't, in, or if they can't force an incompletion. So Axel is looking again here to score. Ball is going to be at the two-yard line. It's going to be second and goal. Axel leading early here against the Frankfurt Wildcats. 8-0, 848 left here in the first quarter. Axel Wiggles on the south side of the field here on the south end of Axel. It's going to be a fake run and a flip to the end zone. Pass complete to number 11, Evan Bussing for the Axel Eagles touchdown. So that makes it 14 to nothing. Axel Eagles, the two-yard touchdown pass from Isaac Detweiler to Evan Bussey is good for the score. Axel did a good job there of spreading this Frankfurt defense out. That's going to be a trouble once they get inside the 10 is this ax, or for this Frankfurt defense. It's to stay tight and stay sound on your responsibilities. The speed option right. It's going to be a pitch to Broxerman. He's going to walk it on in for the two-point conversion. So that's going to make it 16 nothing as the Axel Eagles lead the Frankfurt Wildcats here on KNDY. You've reached Billy Bob's propane. Nobody can take your call now, but somebody will get back to you eh, sometime. Yeah, th this is Frank Jones, and I'm switching propane companies. Why? Wanklin Oil has more to offer, and to be honest, better prices. They also gave me options to fit my budget, and in case you don't remember, I called last week because I was nearly out of propane. You never called me back. I'm now out of propane. Switching propane dealers is no big deal. Call Wanklin Oil at 1-800-794-2019. Wanklin Oil, we've had the energy since 1926. Your hometown partner with any do-it-yourself project is Hometown Lumber of Marysville and Axtell Lumber of Axtell. Serving the community for over 20 years, expert knowledge accompanied by a helpful smile and reassuring handshake will tell you you're in the right place. With all your building needs, they are ready to help you. Stocked with a full line of lumber and hardware to go along with tools, plumbing supplies, paint, and lawn and garden, you'll leave knowing you've made the right choice by stopping at Axtell Lumber and Hometown Lumber in Marysville. Back here at the Axel Sports Complex as the Eagles take on the Frankfurt Wildcats. Axel leading early here, 16 to nothing. Only a foul total. I'm going to go with 60 yards of team offense, but getting the ball deep in Frankfurt possession early on in drives has been a key so far for the Eagles and not allowing Frankfurt to get out of their end zone. On three kickoffs, Isaac Detweiler has kicked it right out of the back of the end zone, and I'm not saying it bounces at the five and rolls back out. He has kicked it out and over over the end zone. So good starting or same starting position for the Franklin Wildcats here at the 15. And I'm sure getting or keeping them inside their own probably 30 is a goal tonight here for coach Eric Detweiler and his Axel Eagles. Frankfurt looking to answer back Axel and they have an opportunity. Less 
Quarterback Wes Anderson has missed one, if not two. We're going to call it fairly easy pitches and catches. One could have been for a touchdown, but consistency is what Nick Anderson is looking for his team. It's going to be a run here by Lois out down the right side. A great run by there, running a little option play between Anderson and Lois out. And Lois out was stopped for a loss, bounced it back to the right side, did a little Barry Sanders, spun around and picked up 15. We're going to call it 13, but a great run there by Lane Lois out for the Frankfurt Wildcats. So a little life here as Frankfurt's able to get their second first down here of the night on a big run play. Eight minutes, 36 seconds left here in the first quarter, slow moving first quarter, some incompletion and runs out of bound has kept this clock where it's set. So be Anderson in the backfield. They're going to roll around 14 in motion. Ty Smith is going to be Anderson looking for someone and just falls down. That time, Axel did bring pressure, and it ended up getting home. Anderson is Axel in the backfield. Brandon Melsley, I believe, was in there for the tackle, as well as Isaac Detweiler and big number Sawyer, number 88 Sawyer Dieters, of course, was there in the middle of that pile as well. Frankfurt so far tonight has obviously ran their two down defensive linemen, their three backs, and their three corners. That time brought a little blitz off the edge and got in Anderson's face, forced him to take a sack. So that sets Frankfurt back here as they now have a second and, oh, we're going to call it 15 from, oh, about the 25-yard line. High snap handled by Anderson. Anderson's going to give it off. Breaking the tackle again is Lois out, and he's going to fight up to the original line of scrimmage and to bring it up to third and ten. Lane Lois out after dropping the first pass play of the game, possibly, well, it was going to be a big gainer, could have been a touchdown, but now running hard here late in the second quarter, breaking another tackle there, but Frankfurt setting in some tough territory here. Ball on the 28-yard line of the Frankfurt Wildcats. They have a third and 10 here against the Axel Eagles. It's going to be Anderson, of course, in the backfield with number 14. Ty Smith to his right side have not called Brock Armstrong's name yet tonight. It's going to be a three-man rush by Axel. Anderson flush. Anderson looking for someone to find someone. Gets a couple yards there. Good enough for the pass completion, but that's going to be it as Wes Anderson was able to find Carter Olsen for about the four-yard pickup. Now, Let's see what Nick Anderson does here. Looks like he's going to keep his offense on the field. He's already went for it. Deeper in this territory. Ball is setting just on the north side of the 30-yard line. So we're going to call it about the 30-and-a-half-yard line of the Frankfurt, uh, excuse me, Frankfurt Wildcats. So rolling the dice here a little bit, possibly giving Axel the ball back. But you have to be able to score to keep up with this Axel team. And I think that's what Coach Anderson is seeing right here. Now it's going to be... Anderson in the backfield with Lois out to his right. They're going to swing her over Ty Smith. Anderson's going to swing right. He's going to look the pass. Now gets out of the tackle, finds down the seam. Ty Smith is good for the first down. What a magician trick there by Wes Anderson. Got out of a surefire sack, swung his hips a little bit, snuck upfield, and found a streaking Ty Smith for a good first down. Frankfurt. So Frankfurt now on into Axel territory for the first time tonight, looking to answer back the Eagles as Eagles lead 16 to nothing here. 6-10 left here to go in the first half. It's going to be up the middle and stop for a gain or two is going to be I believe Grant Bussing getting the stop there and voice now running the ball there like we talked about. Frankfurt running a little bit more here tonight. And they have, of course, I noticed I was looking at the starters here. Number 10, Brock Armstrong is not out there tonight. Got the starters early in the week. Must have had something come up. So it's going to be Frankfurt with a second and eight, setting at the 35-yard line of the Axel Eagles. Axel's now moved into a three, three by three and two cornerback set. It's going to be Anderson back to pass, going to look far side, a little corner route. Caught and complete the number 33, Carter Oysen. Excuse me, Carter Olson for the first down. So Frankfurt finding a little live here. Now moved it all the way down to the 20-yard line of the Axel Eagles. So a good pitch and catch there by Wes Anderson to Carter Olson. Just ran a little 10-yard hitch, sat in the zone. And here we are, first down. Frankfurt on the move a little bit. It's going to be Harden here, split near side. It's going to be... 
Armstrong in the backfield with Ty Smith behind him. It's going to be back to pass now. It's going to be QB draw, and Anderson's just going to throw it away. Good pressure there by number two, Landon Schmidt, to force Anderson out of the pocket and throw it away for the Frankfurt Wildcats. Looked like they were trying to run a little bit of a draw there with the streaker down the middle of the seam, but just couldn't quite take the top off of this Axel defense. So Axel defense forcing a second down now. Ball just outside the 20-yard line. We're going to call it, oh, probably the 22-yard line. We're going to go with it as Frankfurt is looking to answer Axel here. It's going to be Anderson, of course, in the backfield. Smith off to his right. Anderson back pass. Fake quick screen. Now Anderson's going to step up, look for a space. Can't find anything. Just goes down. Good tackle there by number 10, uh, Eli Brockstrman. Good job there by the Axel Eagles. Kind of playing a little bit of a spy there on this running freshman quarterback for this late in the season. Teams kind of know what you are planning to do, when you are planning to do it. A lot of film out there on both teams. So far, Axel has had the advantage as they have a 16 to nothing lead here, 4.30 left to go early in the first quarter. Game just kind of getting underway. Of course, Axel was helped out by some early good field position from the Frankfurt Wildcats, but now the Wildcats have moved it all the way down to the 20-yard line of the Axel Eagles working right to left here, and we're going to have a false start. So something you don't want to see if you're the Frankfurt Wildcats a false start by number big 79, Xander Hall. Pointing. And sometimes when you're on that in position, it's just hard to hear the snap count sometimes, especially when you're going against two gentlemen in the middle of that Axel Eagles defense, Grant Listening and Sawyer Brown. Those are some big kids out there trying to throw their weight around. So that's going to set back the Frankfurt Wildcats here with a third and 14. Four minutes left to go here in the first quarter, but Frankfurt is threatening to answer Axel here on their two early scores. It's going to be Anderson back to bash, two-man rush by the Eagles. It's going to be whipped over here to the near side. Pass complete to Ty Smith. It's going to move the stick, make it about a fourth and three. We're going to call it here. So decision time again for Coach Nick Anderson and his Wildcats. Deep in Axel territory. You have to be able to score with this team. Of course, can get a first down at about the 11. We're going to call 11 and a half yard line. So a big play early on here for the Frankfurt Wildcats. They're going to go two wide right, one wide left here on the left side. Number 24, Trent Harden, Flint left here. It's going to be a rollout wide right for Wes Anderson. Rolls all the way to the right side of the field. Throws across his body. Pass incomplete. High and off the fingertips of number 33, Carter Olsen. So tough break there for the Frankfurt Wildcats as they were just not able to find the seam and get the pass complete here on the near side. So Axel's going to take over their ball in their own territory. Got a long field to march here, but plenty of time to do it. Three minutes left to go here in the first quarter. Axel Eagles leading 16 to nothing. Frankfurt Wildcats here on KNDY 95.5 and, of course, online online all the time. It's going to be Isaac Detweiler taking a deep shot here near side, has a receiver, and just overthrown out of the outstretched arm. Number 10, Eli Rocksterman. Long developing play there. Good pressure by the Frankfurt Wildcats. Only rushing three. Came around the near side here was Trent Harden. Almost got the sack on Isaac Detweiler, but able to step up and toss it in complete. So we have another stoppage of time. 2.56 left here to go in the first quarter. A slow-moving first quarter, a lot of incomplete passes and some runs out of bounds have kept us here for a little longer than expected. But the Axel Eagles are leading 16 to nothing against the Frankfurt Wildcats right now. Frankfurt just had an opportunity to knock it in themselves but was turned away when a fourth down pass was knocked incomplete by the Eagles defense. It's going to be a late, fast option pitch down the left side and a seam. He's got it. 30, 20, 10, 5, touchdown. Axel Eagles. Eli Brocherman runs it. Guy golly, we're going to call it 65 yards for the touchdown. Eli Brockstrom, wonderful setup, but not a pure run. A little option pass there from Isaac Detweiler to Brockstrom. As big number 88, Sawyer Brown was out in front, leading that charge late. Nate laid a nice lick, opened up the lane. 
for Broxerman as he took it 65 yards to the house. So that makes it 22 to nothing. Axel Eagles are leading the Frankfurt Wildcats here at the Axel Sporting Complex. For the two-point try, it's going to be Isaac Detweiler in the backfield. He's going to hand it off on a little option up the middle and good. Brandon Schnellsley with a two-point conversion is going to make it 24-24-2-0 here as the Axel Eagles lead the Frankfurt Wildcats on KNDY. For engineered roof and floor trusses, call on Axel Truss. 12 to 80-foot span, complete hip, cathedral, and floor systems, using only the best SYP available. Deliver to your site undamaged on a roll-off trailer. Manufactured locally at Axtel Truss on U.S. Highway 36, two miles west of K110 between Seneca and Marysville. Phone 785-736-2291. To keep your vehicle running good and looking good, all you need is MR Auto Parts in Frankfurt. Motor oil, air filters, spark plugs, batteries, brakes, and more. MR also has what you need for the outside of the vehicle wheel cleaners, glass cleaners, washes, and waxes. That's MR Auto Parts, your CarQuest Auto Parts dealer in Frankfurt. complex the actual eagles have opened it up 24 to nothing here against the frankfurt wildcats on a long just after just came back from a 65 yard touchdown run by excuse me eli brocksterman so axel has opened it up here it's going to be isaac detweiler kicking it off for the axel eagles i have to give a little shout out i got a pronunciation correction from an old high school friend of mine it's Low Wiseau. So I've been pronouncing it wrong this entire time. It's going to be a touchback here for the actual Eagles. So Frankfurt will take over again at their own 15. Of course, Frankfurt had some opportunities or had a opportunity during their last drive. Moved it all the way up to the actual five-yard line, but just was not able to convert on a fourth down. Brought it up earlier. Nick Anderson has rolled the dice a time or two already in their own territory, trying to keep up with this high-powered Axel offense. So it's going to be Anderson in the backfield, in the shotgun, too wide to the right. It's going to be swing over that side. Number 34, I believe that is Carter Olson with the pass 33, excuse me with the passing completion. So, so far tonight, Frankfurt has taken a few deep shots, but so far, so close in this first quarter. A lot of screen passes, some run outs, quick game, not really looking to have Wes Anderson set in that backfield against this rush defense of the Axel Eagles. Of course, Axel now setting here in a three-down lineman with two backers and three in the backfield. Frankfurt's going to spread them out, two near side, one right side. It's going to be Anderson in the backfield, looks near side again. Another little hitch route, trying to get their athletes in space, breaking a tackle, number 24, Trent Harden. As he caught it at the 30 and made his way all the way up to the 38-yard line. So good extra tough running there by the sophomore, Trent Harden. That's one thing about this Frankfurt team. I've mentioned it all year long. They are young, but they are good, and they are athletic, too. Watched them a couple weeks ago getting in some space against Lynn, able to use that athleticism. Look out for this Frankfurt Wildcats team, folks, next year, maybe even the year after. They got some good athletes. But for right now, they are having to deal with the consensus number one ranked team in eight-man division two, the Axel Eagles, as they are out to an early 24 nothing lead here, just under two minutes left to go in this first quarter. It's going to be Frankfurt running the option again. It's going to be up the middle. Wiseau for the run. About three yards. Evan Bussing with the tackle. Clock will continue to run. So far tonight, Frankfurt has just had a little bit of misfortune, had two penalties on the first two drives that really hurt them when Axel had the ball and then just not able to get some fourth down completions, but kind of setting themselves up not for success. A lot of plays on first and second down with no gain or min or loss of yardage even at that. Frankfurt looking to right the ship here, still early on in the game. First quarter about underway here at the Axel Sporting Complex. It's going to be... 
Ty Smith coming here near side in an option. It's going to be Wes Anderson right up the middle with a QB draw. He's going to be up there pretty close to the first down line. We're going to give him a – we're going to call it a run of nine there. They kind of gave him a bad spot. I thought he got better than that. But they're going to mark it set. We'll call it eight. That's going to bring up third and three for the Wildcats just over midfield. Now in the axle territory for the second time this game. First two drives, not too kind for the Wildcats as they were not able to get past the midfield mark. But here they set third and three at their, oh, excuse me, on the axle side of the 40-yard line. It's going to be twin split left here, and it's going to be a run up the middle. Stop, no good. Stop for a loss. Loizo stopped behind the line on the option. And this brings up another decision for Nick Anderson. Obviously, we're going to go with it, but let's see what Anderson has to pull out of his bag of tricks here. It's a third and three. We're going to die. I thought he lost the yard. They're going to keep it at a third and three for the Frankfurt Wildcats just across midfield into Axel territory. Loizo not able to get much there, and that's going to bring us to the end of the first quarter. Axel Eagles leading 24 to nothing here on KNDY. The State Bank in Axtell is synonymous with quality and integrity in the banking business. Financing for your home, for your farm, or your small business. Contact the loan officers if you need money. Or if you're putting money away for something special. Or just saving for a rainy day. Visit with the professionals at the State Bank of Axtell. They're federally insured. Member FDIC, the State Bank of Axtell. Call Parthamer Electric at 268-0553. At Parthamer Electric, we specialize in residential and commercial electrical services and are dedicated to providing customer service that is second to none. Parthamer Electric won't leave the job until you're satisfied. Parthamer Electric is available at all hours and offers flexible services for indoor or outdoor jobs. You can visit us on the web at the Parthamer Electric Facebook site or give us a call at 268-0553. Parthamer Electric in Frankfurt. P&D Buildings of Axtell specializes in post-frame buildings. Give them a call for stud frame buildings with complete concrete and electrical work included. It's one call to get the job done. B&D Buildings specializing in post-frame building construction, plus repairs and more. Always free estimates. Give them a call. B&D Buildings of Axtell, 785-294-0147. B&D Buildings at 785-294-0147. Jumping right into action here. It's going to be the Frankfurt Wildcats with a screen pass. Pass complete down to the end zone. Touchdown, Frankfurt. Lane Luizo with the 40-yard touchdown run from Wes Anderson. That is exactly what the Frankfurt Wildcats were needing coming out of that timeout. That's going to make it 24-6. Axel Eagles still leading in the Frankfurt Wildcats, but Frankfurt showing that they still have life in this game. We're going to call that, yes, a 40-yard touchdown pass from quarterback Wes Anderson to Lane Loizo. Loizo, excuse me. We'll get that name right here by the end of the season, folks. So it's going to be Frankfurt here going for the two-point conversion fresh out of the timeout or quarter break, excuse me. It's going to be Anderson in the backfield. He's going to roll right again, swing right towards the sideline, caught good. Pass complete to number 33, Carter Olson. So that brings us 24-8. Axel Eagles leading the Frankfurt Wildcats here on KNDY. Stay connected, stay informed. Get the Frankfurt community's top stories every week. Frankfurt Area News is a small-town community newspaper dedicated to their advertisers, subscribers, and community. The Frankfurt Area News was established in 1991 and is the official paper of the city of Frankfurt. City of Vermilion and USD 380. They love receiving news from their readers. If you have an engagement, wedding, birth, family reunion, or something you think local readers would enjoy, or to subscribe, get in touch with the Frankfurt Area News at 292 4726. Western National Bank in Summerfield wants you to feel good about where you are with your money. Available when you need them and offering online and personal services, Western National Bank will make sure to keep you and your money happy. Call Western National Bank at 244-6211 to make your money smile. Member FDIC. (laughs) 
Here at the Axle Sporting Complex, they are getting loud and they are getting rowdy over here in Axle tonight. A great turnout here for Friday Night Football. I hope everyone else is having a good Friday night. Of course, kept the Marysville, Ohio off the game on our sister station, 94.1, or just like us. Listen live, listen all the time online. Download the app if you haven't already got the opportunity. Give it a download. You can listen to us wherever, whenever you want to. And, of course, KU football kicks off tomorrow, pregame at 1030 here, right here on Candy Y 95.5. And, like I said, listen live online all the time. If you haven't downloaded our app, go ahead and do it. That's the best way to listen to high school for high school football here in Northeast Kansas and Southeast Nebraska. Of course, tonight, KNDY featured game of the week. We're over here in Axel, Kansas, as the Eagles are taking on the Frankfurt Wildcats. It's 24-0. Frankfurt just got a quick touchdown coming out of the quarter break to make it 24-8. Axel able to answer first starting the game. First play here for Axel, a big runner by number 16, Brandon Smellsley. Just a good setup there by the Axel Eagles. Ran a little fake off down the middle, swung it to the outside, and that's going to be Smellsley running from the 15 all the way up to about the 32-yard line. So a big chunk of yardage there for the Eagles as they are back to moving. It's going to be two split right side and one here near side. Isaac Detweiler in the backfield with Smellsley on his butt. It's going to be Isaac swinging it out far side, quick pass. Out to number 10, I believe that's Broxman for pass complete. Tough, took a tough hit over there on the sideline. Ball popped out, but out of bounds after that. Regardless, picked up a first down, and just like that, two plays later, Axel Eagles are already into Frankfurt Wildcat territory. Said it earlier in the broadcast, this is my first opportunity to call an Axel game, and boy, they are showing out. Looks like Frankfurt's going to take a timeout. We'll take it as well. We'll be right back here on ANDY. Still over here in Axel as the Eagles are taking on the Frankfurt Wildcats in tonight. KNDY featured game of the week coming out of a timeout here by the Wildcats. Axel able to split the field position. Axel just started their fourth drive on the own on their own 15-yard line. Excuse me, already moved up to the 20. We're going to call it actually the 33-yard line of the Frankfurt Wildcats. So Frankfurt needing to get a stop here, trailing 24-8. to 11.30 left here to go in the second quarter, but this Axel offense is on the move. It's going to be two split out wide right, and it's going to be one here near side left. Evan Broxerman, wide receiver split here near. Isaac Detweiler in the backfield with Smelsley to his rear end. It's going to be speed option left. It's going to go to Smelsley. Smelsley down the sideline up to the 25-yard line for pretty close to a first down. It's going to be second and third. Nope, they're going to call it a first down. So good play there by Axel. Ran a little misdirection. Got a lot of guys moving to the right. Ran a speed option over here left. Able to pitch it late to Smelsley. Smelsley able to take it up for about a 10-yard gain. Going to come out with the same look again. Two receivers to the right side. One near side here is listening. Going to be in the backfield. Isaac Detweiler and Smelsley again. Waiting on the snap. Detweiler takes a quick slant here just over the head of Evan Blissing. That was a rocket out of the hand of Isaac Detweiler. Just unable to make a connection with his fellow senior Evan Blissing. Of course, three seniors on this roster, quarterback Isaac Detweiler, running back slash tight end Evan Bussing, and Owen Strothman on the line there. So good senior lead, lead in class, of course, led the Axel Eagles to a state championship last year, looking to do it again this year, but must get through the regular season unscathed in order to complete that feat. 
It's going to be Detweiler back to pass now. It's going to be quarterback run down the right side. Det- Detweiler's got a line, runs the man over. It's going to be up close to the first down, but a good tackle there from Frankfurt, number 42, Wyatt Keller there, saw stopping Isaac Detweiler from gaining any more yards. It's going to be second, and we're going to call it the length of the football. Axel Eagles threatening to score here again. Just under 11 minutes to go here in the second quarter. 24-8 to is our score as the Axel Eagles take on the Frankfurt Wildcats here. KNDY 95.5 or online, online all the time. It's going to be a swing out left side. Speed option for Detweiler. He's going to rumble up. Good enough for the first down. Pick up about three, and that's going to bring up a first down for the Eagles. Down here close to the goal line, this Frankfurt defense needs to step up and stand their ground, already trailing 24-8 to here early on in this game. Second quarter is rolling on by. It is a beautiful night for football. I hope it's a beautiful night wherever you are listening or watching for, to football as well. Over here at Axel, the Axel Sporting Complex, south end of town. Absolutely beautiful place they have here. It's going to be Detweiler giving it off now, swinging up the middle passes. Incomplete, no good. Just couldn't quite get enough air under that. Ran a little fake option in front of him with the running back. Tried to flip it towards the middle with his tight end. Just couldn't quite get enough air under it. That's going to bring up second down. There they go. They move the stick. Messing with the radio announcers up here. It's going to be second down and goal from we're going to call it about the six-yard line. On the north end of the field here, Axel Eagles looking to extend their lead. Able to jump out to an early 16-0 lead before Franker was able to keep it a little close. It's going to be Detweiler looking to pass. Now sneaks out of a tackle, gets around one man, gets around two, dives towards the pylon. And he's going to be short. But, boy, that was some tough running by the senior, Isaac Detweiler. He was stopped dead in his tracks at the line of scrimmage by big number 79, Xander Hall, but able to sneak out of his grasp and sneak through for a couple extra yards. So that's going to bring up a third down and one here for the Eagles. Big defensive stop coming for the Wildcats if they want to stay in this game. 9.30 left here to play in the second quarter. Clock is running. Axel's threatening. Wide receiver left and right. Tight formation bunch. It's going to be power up the middle. Good and good. Brandon Smellsley, number 16, rumbles in for a two-yard touchdown as that's going to push the Axel lead to 32-8. Pretty simple concept there. Axel brought in two extra tight ends, ran it right down the middle with your big fullback, and the end result is a touchdown. Axel's going to line up to go here for two. Let's see if they can extend this lead. Just made it 32-8, Axel leading. It's going to be Detweiler in the backfield. Fake the Smellsley this time. Now Detweiler's going to run left, fake the pitch, speed enough to get to the edge, and he sure does. Making our score 32-8, Axel Eagles leading the Frankfurt Wildcats here on KNDY. We'll be right back. FNA Construction will build it right. Call today for a quick quote if you're building, remodeling, or adding on. Enjoy your home more and increase its value with FNA Construction. They'll tackle your every project to make sure it's done right. For complete construction services, call on FNA Construction today at 292-4692. That's 292-4692. Friendly, personalized service to meet your banking needs. That's the standard at First National Bank, Frankfurt. My community bank has responded to the changes needed to keep my money safe and secure. They've switched to cards with the latest technology, which is safer and more secure than before. My community bank provides safety and security while staying on top of the latest banking trends. Let First National Bank's brand of banking be responsive to your needs. First National Bank, Frankfurt, proud to be your community bank. Member FDIC. Setting here at the Axel Sporting Complex. Bill getting the crowd pumped up if you can't hear. Axel is leading the Frankfurt Wildcats 32 to 8. Nine minutes left to go here in the second quarter. It's going to be Isaac Detweiler kicking off for the Eagles. If I was a betting man, I bet this is going out of the end zone. 
Good thing it didn't because it's going to roll out of bounds at the five-yard line. It's going to be excellent field position for the Frankfurt Wildcats as I believe they're going to move it up 15 yards here. Got a little confusion here on the sideline, so we're going to let that settle out. And I take that back. I believe we're going to have a re-kick. So I guess yes, that is an option. I forgot in high school football they could move back five yards or take the penalty yards. So Coach Anderson elects to re-kick the ball. It's going to be Detweiler again here kicking off. It's Loizo, Loizo, and let me see here, Trent Harden back to return for the Frankfurt Wildcats. Detweiler getting ready to kick it off here. Kick is away. Kick is down to Loizo, taking it about the five-yard line. He's going to run a far side in front of the Frankfurt uh, stand. Plows through a guy or two all the way up until the 26-yard line, and that is where Frankfurt is going to start their next offensive possession. So, so far in this game, Frankfurt has been held quiet on the offensive side. They had two early fourth, fourth downs that they went for in their own territory and weren't able to succeed, giving Axel excellent field position early on in this game to open it up quite early, 16 to nothing. But after that, Frankfurt has settled down, strike back just a little bit ago, right at the beginning of the second quarter with a 40-yard touchdown pass from Anderson to Luizzo. It's going to be Anderson looking back again. Ball is sent down to the ground. That is going to be incomplete. Big number 12, Isaac Detweiler got in there into the line and plays more of a safety position, but came up, brought a little extra blitz, got his hands up, and knocked that pass incomplete for the Eagles. So that's going to bring up a second down and 10 here for the Wildcats. I didn't get a chance to talk to Coach Anderson for this game, but I'm sure he said one of his goals for this game was to not get behind the stick. So far, unfortunately, Frankfurt has not been able to overcome some early second and longs and even third and longers. It's going to be a swing pass out here. Right side broken. Tackle. Good move there by number 33, Carter Olson. Carter Olson is having himself a heck of a night receiving the ball, making some people miss. And I mentioned it earlier before, this Frankfurt receiving core, if you want to call them receivers, running backs, with all purpose, guys, they are shifty and they are quick in the open field. So in a game like this, this might be something to keep an eye on, getting those Frankfurt players in space, especially maybe on in the second half. This Axel defense maybe starts to, I don't want to say slow down a bit, but we've all been there, played sports. You get up big, sometimes you start to lose focus. And here comes Frankfurt marching into the other side of the field. It's going to be a swing pass to Loisel. Tackle for about a two-yard completion, but into actual territory, march the Frankfurt Eagles. So a good second down play moments ago, followed up by a two-yard gain on first down. Clock continues to roll. 8.30 left to go here in the second half. It is 32-8. to eight. Axel Eagles leading the Frankfurt Wildcats here on Candy Wise featured game of the week. Of course, tune in to the Marys of Ohio Walker game on our sister station, Candy Wise 94.1, and listen live all the time. If you haven't downloaded the app, go do it. It's pretty simple, just like any other app you've got. It's going to be Anderson in the backfield. He's going to give it to Loizo, and he's going to be stuck. Nothing happening there for the Franklin Wildcats as a gaggle of Axel Eagles, because those are geese, swarm to the ball to create that stop. It's going to be no gain, brings up a long third and nine, third and eight, what they have on the scoreboard for the Frankfurt Wildcats. Tough field position here again for Coach Anderson. Needs to find something in his bag of trips to pick up at least five or six here, make it a more manageable fourth down against this tough Axel defense. Mentioned early, Axel started in a two-down defensive line set, but the last two possessions they've been in a three-different defensive line set with just kind of five guys roaming the backfield. No one really a linebacker, no one really a safety, just blanketing the back of the field. It's going to be Anderson rolling out right. He's going to try and swing it right side. It's going to be over the head of the intended receiver, Carter Olsen. Good job there by Anderson, though. His line kind of pushed the rush, rush to his left rolled out to his right, just couldn't find a receiver. There's been a few plays Nick Anderson has drawn up that have been design runs to the right, but this was just smart intuition, getting out of the pocket, trying to find the space, but unfortunately no good. 
So that's going to bring up fourth down here. 7 8 left to play in the second quarter. Axel Eagles leading 32-8 against the Frankfurt Wildcats here on KNUI's feature game of the week. Frankfurt Wildcats have a fourth down and eight. A big possession here is setting at their own 40-yard line. Nick Anderson is going to want to think this over. We'll take the timeout with him. We'll be right back here on KNUI. Stocked with the freshest produce and always fresh meat counter, J&R Market in Frankfurt is your full-service grocery. Start saving today with weekly specials. The J&R Market app makes shopping a breeze, so you're in and out and on your way. Open seven days a week for your convenience, Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. until 7 p.m., Saturday, 96, Sunday, 95. Freshest produce, best selection, greatest value, J&R Market in Frankfurt. Little Joe's 66 Service in Axtell is a proud supporter of Axtell Schools and Axtell Athletics. If you have automotive repair needs, call Joe at 785-736-2824. With satisfied customers from all over the area, Little Joe's 66 Service is the place to turn for all of your automotive repair needs. Back here at the Axel Eagle battle against the Frankfurt Wildcats. Thank you to Bruce Deer being back in the station running board for me tonight and giving me score updates. Updated me. Marysville leading high off at 29 to 7 late there in the first half. Bulldogs looking to make it two in a row after beating Valley Heights last week. Here we have Frankfurt in the fourth down. It's going to be Anderson back fast. He's going to be fake middle. He's going to roll out right. Anderson with some room to run. Now he's going to find a man left side, wide open down the sideline. Caught complete. First down, Wildcats. Boy, that was some exciting quarterback play there by the freshman, Wes Anderson. Axel only rushed three, but the line did a good job for the Wildcats. Anderson run left, ran right, thought he had a lane to run the draw, but with a long nine, decided to pull it and found a streaky number 14, Ty Smith, down the far sideline for a first down. So Frankfurt here knocking on the goal at the 15-yard line of the Axel Eagles. Looking to cut into this lead, 32-8. to eight. Axel is leading Frankfurt, but a golden opportunity for Frankfurt. We're going to have a stoppage in play here real quick. Give the announcers a chance to catch their breath. That is for sure. I think they're taking a look at one of the Frankfurt players down there. Of course, player safety is the biggest issue in football today. Going to make sure everyone's safe and playing all right. Referee's going to run over and tell Coach Detweiler what's going on. Well, we're going to look at it. We're going to run down here, scores real quick, show you how we got here. We started off with a 20-yard touchdown run by Brandon Smells. We made it 8-0 after a two-point conversion for Axel, followed up by a two-yard Isaac Detweiler to Evan Bussing touchdown pass. Two-point conversion, good on that. 16-0 Axel. Right out of the second quarter, excuse me, another score in the first quarter for Axel as a 65-yard run by Broxerman was good, made it 24-0. Right out of the second quarter, Frankfurt was able to add answer, making it 24-8. to And Smellsley just got a two-yard touchdown run to make it 32-8 where we stand now. It's going to be Anderson swinging out right side here for Frankfurt, looking for someone. Swings it back in the end zone. Had a receiver open, but a little too much air and a little too much arm on that one from the freshman as it's going to roll incomplete. But a good job there. I saw him eyeing. He wanted to throw across his body. A smart decision there, though, not to throw it into coverage and – uh, I guess, run the risk of throwing a pick this deep into Axel territory. So, Frankfurt, I'm going to go ahead and say it playing it fairly close. Axel's had a lot of games this year where they were able to end it at half, of course, scoring over 45 points a game on their average, and their defense has been very stout as well. Three games they've pitched shutouts, but not to hear as the Frankfurt Wildcats are looking to answer Axel Eagles leading 32 to 8 here. 6.50 left to go in the second quarter. Clock is running, and so is this Frankfurt offense. It's going to be Anderson back to pass right down the middle. Pass in and out of the hands of number six, Lane Luizo. So incomplete for the Wildcats. A good pass and catch there from quarterback to wide receiver, but not able to find the handling on that ball. Like I said, it's a chilly night here tonight. In Axel, I'm sure everywhere else, no clouds in the sky, just the lights of the, I guess the big lights at the football field. So catching the ball might be a little problem here. Those hands are cold, trying to make it a little tougher, catch that hard football. 
It's going to be Frankfurt with a third and 10 at the 15 of Axel. Stepping up is Anderson towards the end zone, short of a touchdown, but got a first down is number 14, Ty Smith. So great job again by quarterback Wes Anderson. Brought pressure up the sides, stepped up, found a receiver near the uh, goal line, got a first down, and I think that's the biggest thing. Now Frankfurt is working with a first and goal from just inside the two-yard two line. Going to call it a yard and a half. A big opportunity here for the Frankfurt Wildcats to cut into this Axel lead. Of course, Axel will receive the ball coming out of halftime as they deferred to start the game. It's going to be Anderson in the backfield with Loizo to his rear and a touchdown. Lane Loizo, two-yard touchdown run from Lane Loizo. That's going to make it 32 to 14. Frankfurt has cut into this actual eagle lead with 6:37 left to play here in the second quarter. Good play call there by Coach Wes Anderson. Or excuse me, Nick Anderson, just able to see that the Axel defense was running around the outside, kind of giving up the middle, so Anderson just runs a little option right down the middle, hands it off, touchdown, Lane Loizo. Two-point conversion here. It's going to be Anderson in the backfield. Same play, gives it to Loizo, actually keeps it, tries to get to the outside, and it is no good. So our score is going to stay 32-14, to and we're going to take a timeout here on KNDY. Your opportunity, your solution, your success. That's Soother's Feeds approach, and that's what sets us apart. I'm Leanne Linton, and I invite you to experience the Soother difference. We're about visiting the ranch, walking your pins, and weighing the options to develop a ration combination that will be the most efficient and profitable for your business. Soother's, a family-owned company that identifies opportunities and applies solutions for your success. Soother Feeds in Frankfurt and online at SoutherFeeds.com. Soother Feeds, where your success is our success. Have an accident with your vehicle? Call Moonlight Restoration and they'll take care of you with a free estimate and they'll turn it into the insurance company for you. You name it, they can do it. Fender Benders, auto and tractor restoration, windshield repair or replacement, spray and bed liners, sandblasting, dealer and installer of B&W hitches and drop and lock hitches. No job is too large or too small for Moonlight Restoration. If you want quality work done by skilled technicians, call Moonlight Restoration in Axtell, Kansas. Owned and operated by Brett and Nikki Runnebaum. Call 736 736- 2359. Here at the Axel Sporting Complex, as the Frankfurt Wildcats were able to cut into this Axel Eagle lead with a two yard touchdown run by Lane Loizo just before we took a break. Two point conversion was no good, so that's how we are sitting. 32 to 14, Axel leading, 637 left to go here in the second quarter. A slow moving first half here in Axel, but nonetheless an exciting one and a high-scoring game, kind of like I thought we might have. So Axel is going to start the their possession, excuse me, on the 15-yard line as the ball was kicked out of bounds, a kickoff there for Frankfurt. So Axel looking to get this offense back on the field. It's been a while, but when they did, their longest drive of the night took up quite a bit of time, was able to punch it in the end zone, but they were able to move in two big chunk plays, almost 60 yards at the start of that position. It's going to be Detweiler back to pass, and going to be a screen pass coming here near side to number 16, Smelsley. Smelsley's going to run down here near side, and once again, a big chunk play, 15 yards for Brandon Smelsley on that little screen pass from Isaac Detweiler to Brandon Smelsley. Good job there, though, by the Frankfurt defense. Mentioned this a couple weeks ago when we got a chance to watch them at Lynn. This defensive team for the Frankfurt Wildcats really comes to the ball together as a team. A lot of hats to the ball, gang tackling. Everyone's here as a team. Let's see if they can slow down this actual offense, though, as they are back in rhythm. It's going to be a power run right by Detweiler. Wait for his block. Detweiler's got a seam down the right side. Big stiff arm by Dysick, and he's going to run 5 10 touchdown. Axel Eagles. Isaac Detweiler takes it himself. All the way for a 45-yard touchdown run. That was a good job there by the senior quarterback, Isaac Detweiler. Kind of ran a little power draw sort of formation, waited for his blockers to set up. And once he hit that second level, this kid has the speed to take the house 
every time. 38 to 14, Axel Eagles leading the Frankfurt Wildcats. And now it's 6.03, so in less than 30 seconds, the Axel Eagles answer back the Frankfurt Wildcats. Two point pass, good to Evan Bussing, making it 30. Excuse me. 40 to 14. We're going to take a timeout. We'll be right back here on KNDY. Your hometown partner with any do-it-yourself project is Hometown Lumber of Marysville and Axtell Lumber of Axtell. Serving the community for over 20 years, expert knowledge accompanied by a helpful smile and reassuring handshake will tell you you're in the right place. With all your building needs, they are ready to help you. Stocked with a full line of lumber and hardware to go along with tools, plumbing supplies, paint, and lawn and garden, you'll leave knowing you've made the right choice by stopping at Axtell Lumber and Hometown Lumber in Marysville. If your vehicle is looking like it just went through a money rally race, or perhaps it's been target practice for the neighborhood bird gang, then you need to get your car washed today at the Axtell Car Wash. The Axtell Car Wash has two enclosed self-service bays, even one size for semi-tractors. Just pull in, pay with your bank card, and wash all the dirt, mud, bugs, and bird stuff off your vehicles. You don't have to drive far to get a clean car. Just visit the Axtell Car Wash, proud supporter of the Axtell Eagles. Joining back here on KNDY, Frankfurt working on that kickoff. Got it up to about the 20-yard line, but that's going to be the end of that return for the Frankfurt Wildcats. That's where they're going to start this possession. Over on our sister station, heading into halftime, the Marysville Bulldogs leading Hiawatha 29-7. Out in front in that game is the Bulldogs, like we said, coming off a victory, looking to make their mark in district play. Still with a great opportunity are the Bulldogs to get into that district play. Here in Axel, the Eagles are leading the Franklin Wildcats 40-14. to Anderson's going to take a deep shot right out of the timeout, but it's just going to be over the head of his intended receiver, number 14, Ty Smith. Then one thing I have noticed about, excuse me, Wes Anderson as quarterback, if he decides to throw the ball, he's just going to overthrow his receiver instead of underthrow a very smart quarterback at that. And this is where Frankfurt is going to start the ball. We're going to start it here at about their own, we're going to call it 17-yard line, so a long field here to go with plenty of time. 5.55 left to go here in the second quarter. It's going to be Anderson in the backfield looking to pass again. He's going to be swallowed up by a bunch of Axel Eagles. That's going to be big number 88, Sawyer Dieter giving to him first. Give him credit for the tackle. Boy, Axel brought four, and they got home without a second. Frankfurt decided to kind of call up a little draw there, I believe, and just blown up by big number 88, Sawyer Dieter. Talk about the size of the line for the Axel Eagles. Number 54, Grant Bussing, and number 88, Sawyer Dieter making most of the plays on the end, 220 pounds and 265 pounds respectively there on those ends. So an eight-man football, that is a lot of size to deal with. Both juniors, both will be back next year, but a good and an integral part of the team this year if they're looking to make it back to state. It's going to be a screen pass across the field, caught but dropped for a gain of, we're going to call it, six inches. So pass complete to number 24, Trent Harden, but tackled right away. So deep in their own territory, it's going to be Frankfurt with a 4 and 18 to go. I believe they're probably going to punt it away here as they set up their own 10-yard line, give the ball back to the Axel Eagles, not what Coach Anderson was wanting to do here going into half. Of course, make it there. Axel will receive the kickoff out of half. So I think that we're, that Weiler's going to set at the 40-yard line. It doesn't look like Frankfurt's going to punt. There they go. Now they moved it back. Punting from his own end zone, and a good punt it is. That Weiler's going to take it just on his side of the 40. He's going to break one tackle, go far side, and lower his shoulder, get out of bounds, and start the possession just inside the 30. We're going to call it the 26 or 7 of the Frankfurt Wildcats is where this Axel Eagles offense is going to start off. Of course, Axel has shown the ability so far tonight to pound and ground the game a little bit, had a nice long drive late there in the second quarter, ended it off with the touchdown. But just before we went away, also able to score. Took just about 30 seconds off the clock on their last touchdown play. 
first play of the drive comes here near side, a little screen pass in and out of the hands of number 10, Eli Brockstrom. It had a screen set up. Don't think it would have went for much there, but still incomplete nonetheless. The crisis averted there for the Frankfurt Wildcats. As now it's going to be second and 10 for these Axel Eagles as they look to put some more points on the board. Leading here 40-14, to 14, just over four minutes left to play here in the second quarter over at Axel. Wonderful night for football. Hope everyone is enjoying it. It's going to be a high snap. Isaac Detweiler is going to handle it, kind of sidesteps the tackler there, put on a stiff arm, makes it up to, oh, we're going to call it the 20, just on the other side of the 20-yard line, 19-yard line. It's going to be close for a first down. But bring up third down regardless. Third and about fourth down for the Eagles. Clock running, just under four minutes left to play here in the second quarter. Axel has a decent lead, 40 to 14, but this is eight man football. Anything can happen. Axel is looking to add to that lead, though, as they are on the 20 yard line of the Frankfurt Wildcats. Third down here, third three, and a speed option left. Takes the quarterback, pitches out. It's going to be blitzing on the run. He's going to fight his way up towards about the five-yard line, but a first down nonetheless for the Axel Eagles. Excuse me. That was Brandon Schmelsley coming out of the backfield with that speed option. So good play call there. And Isaac Detweiler, a smart option there. Linebacker shot the gap. Obviously pitch it. That's what you're taught to do as a quarterback, and that results in a first down. First and goal from the seven-yard line. Axel's going to run two receivers left, one split out right. It's going to be Isaac Detweiler in the backfield with Smellsley but directly behind him. Big swing pass. We're going to look middle, wide open, caught, and touchdown. Pass complete to number 11, Evan Bussing. For about a six-yard touchdown pass from Isaac Detweiler to Evan Bussing. That's going to make it 46-14 to 14 here as Axel is starting to open it up here on the Frankfurt Wildcats. It was a good play design there from Coach Detweiler as they ran a little speed option fake and just found the seam in the middle, floated it up, and good. Isaac Detweiler is going to look to run it for the two-point conversion, puts the ball down, and is good. Making it 48-14, to 14, the Axel Eagles lead the Frankfurt Wildcats here on KNDY. We will be right back. Barry Bussing, Bussing Construction in Axel offers dozer construction and all types of soil conservation work, including terraces and water rain. Remember, conservation is the key to our future, and it all starts with you. Contact Barry Bussing and see how he can help you. Call Barry today at 736-2833. For conservation work, Barry Bussing Construction of Axel, Kansas. Phone 736-2833. JD Construction wants to make your dream home a reality. Whether you want to build a custom home, remodel your current home, or add a new deck or patio, JD Construction can handle all your residential construction needs. They are also experts when it comes to agriculture and residential buildings. For small or large projects, consider a custom building from JD Construction. They'll give you high-quality work while staying on schedule and budget. Contact Jared Smith at 785-353-2312. From start to finish, it's J.D. Construction. Back here as the Axel Eagles are kicking off to the Frankfurt Wildcats. And Axel just added on to their lead. It is 48-14 here as the Axel Eagles lead Frankfurt Wildcats. Frankfurt returns the ball up to, we're going to call it about the 25-yard line, 26-yard line. Good return there by Lane Wiseau. Wildcats will have three minutes left to play here in this second quarter, trying to get the offense going. They've shown some glimpses about this team. I know when I talked to Coach Anderson early on in the week, of course he was a little concerned about the experience of the Eagles. But so far, his Frankfurt Wildcats team has come and played directly behind the Axel Eagles, they have not bowed down from this competition whatsoever. A good thing to see from a young Frankfurt Wildcat team. An excellent play by their freshman quarterback, Wes Anderson, so far here tonight. It's going to be a quick screen pass out to the right side. Trent Harden, excuse me, left side. Trent Harden fighting for some extra yards. Good, tough running there by the, oh, let's see here, the sophomore. Excuse me, wanted to give him some credit there. 
between him and Loizo, they have probably, I'm going to give them about 40 yards run after catch by just continuing to run hard after receiving the pass. That time there were four actual Eagles there to try and take down hard and not a good, not an easy guy to take down either at the end of the day. Frankfurt has moved it up now here to the 35-yard line of their own side, just almost at midfield. It's going to be a little swing action here. Ty Smith's going to go in motion. Pressure by the Eagles. Anderson dancing in the backfield. Good job by that Frankfurt offensive line. Swings out right side. Pass is incomplete. No good as there was no receiver in the area just getting rid of that ball. So far, this Frankfurt offensive line, I haven't really mentioned them by name tonight, but they have done a good job. Being number 79, Jake Steffies and Wyatt Keller, being number 79, Xander Hall, excuse me, doing a good job protecting their quarterback in the backfield. Such a mobile quarterback. You see it all the time. It's sometimes hard to guess where he's going to go, but they have stayed on their blocks tonight, done a good job of containing this edge rush of the Axel Eagles. As I've mentioned, they moved from a 2-3 more to a 3-5 defense now here in the second quarter. Clock continuing to run. Just over two minutes left to play here in the second quarter. Axel's going to be bring pressure again. They're going to try and set up a screen, but no good. Wes Anderson is going to be dropped for a big loss. Number two, Landon Smith got in there for the big loss for the Axel Eagles as that's going to push the Frankfurt Wildcats all the way back to the 20-yard line. Eagles are going to take a timeout. We're going to take it with them. We'll be right back here on KNDY. Raise your hand if you need more internet speed. It's time to get your hands on much faster internet. Don't settle for yesterday's internet speed when you have a home full of today's devices. Upgrade your Blue Valley Technologies internet speed now to the speed you need and get a $50 bill credit. If you're new to Blue Valley, you get two months free and everyone gets free installation on managed Wi-Fi. Visit bluevalley.net forward slash raise your hand today. The demand for Landall products is real. Landall's orders are overflowing for all three product lines. If you or if you know of someone looking for an excellent career opportunity that offers stable employment and outstanding benefits, contact Landall Company in Marysville, 785-562-5381, or apply online at landall.com slash careers. Positions available in Marysville, Waterville, Beloit. EEO Vets and Disability, welcome. Back here as Frankfurt Wildcats look to answer the actual Eagles. Pass is up in the air. Pass is tipped. Pass is picked off by number 10. Eli Rockstrom picked it off. It was a long fourth down and 17 just tuning in. Wes Anderson took a big loss on third down. Forced Frankfurt into a tough fourth and 14. Anderson looking for receiver here near side. Ball just kind of fluttered on him. I'll call it the first bad pass of the night. And usually when that happens, Axel is there to capitalize on the mistake as they were. Eli Broxerman picking the ball off. That's going to give Eagles the possession inside Frankfurt territory here at the 35-yard line of the Wildcats. It's going to be a trips formation here, left side, Detweiler by himself in the backfield. A little different formation here than we've seen so far tonight by the Eagles. Minute 46, left, more, minute 46 left here to play in the second quarter. It's going to be Detweiler looking back to pass. Thinks better of it. Runs right. Has a blocker. Now directs the blocker. Isaac Detweiler is going to use that speed down the sideline. Run out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. So I was just giving credit to the Frankfurt offensive line there. Good job by the Axel offensive line. Held everyone off for Detweiler to set back there. Scan the field. Eventually found no one, but the whole right side of the field has been vacated by that Frankfurt defense. That Weiler just using his legs, getting out of the pocket, and extending the play. Also getting out of bounds, clock stop again at 136 left to go here in the second quarter. Axel Eagles leading the Frankfurt Wildcats, 48-14. to Axel looking to score again. It's going to be run option pitch. It's going to be Blitzy near side, upended at the five-yard line, but a good stop there by Ty Smith for the Frankfurt Wildcats. I have to feel bad there. Every time they run that speed option, it's usually number 24, Wyatt Keller out on the edge, 
for the Frankfurt Wildcats, and he has the toughest decision tonight to make. Do you take Isaac Detweiler, who is an explosive athlete, take the quarterback, let him pitch it to Bussing while he has a full head of steam? That's a tough job to do. Would not want to be him. So Axel already threatening after that early turnover, an interception. It's going to be right up the middle. It's going to be number 16. Brandon Smellsley runs in for a five-yard touchdown. Axel Eagles put another one on the board. Brandon Schmelzley, a direct five-yard touchdown there, moves the score up to 54 to 14. Two-point conversion pending here for the Eagles. So Axel has really opened it up now here in the second quarter. Some unfortunate turnovers and bad field position for the Wildcats has led to that. They're going to run power with Detweiler up the middle. Detweiler rumbles through and is good. That's going to move it to 56 to 14. We're going to take a timeout. Be right back here on KNDY. You don't ask that much from your propane provider. Just the basics. Competitive pricing, quick delivery, reliable service. And if there's an emergency, the assurance that you won't be left out in the cold. You get all of that from Wanklin Oil. If you're not getting what you want from your current propane dealer, call Wanklin Oil at 1-800-794-2019. Jared, Dennis, or Zach will make the transition easy. It's not a hassle. Wanklin Oil is covering more of Northeast Kansas and can get to you right away. Wanklin Oil, 1-800-794-2019. We've had the energy since 1920. Haymakers like you told us what they want from a self-propelled wind rower, and New Holland listened. Visit Can Equip in Marysville and see the result. The high productivity, high precision, high performance Speed Rower Plus. Featuring the industry's fastest speeds, drive-by wire controls, PLM solutions, and our most comfortable ride ever. It'll help you mow more hay in a day faster and with greater precision. Stop by Can Equip in Marysville and put big new pluses to work in your hay operation. Back here as the Axel Eagles have opened it up against the Frankfurt Wildcats. It is now 56 to 14. Axel Eagles leading Frankfurt here in Axel. It's going to be Frankfurt to return. It's going to be Loizo, excuse me, number 24 over here near side. Trent Harden fighting again all the way up to the 30 yard line. That is where Frankfurt is going to start. Looking at a few scores here from around the area. Of course, Marysville went in 29 to 7. Um, we've got a few now here. Riverside trails Centralia. Centralia leads Riverside seven to six at half. Slow scoring game there. Troy is up forty-two to nothing over Onega at half. And Valley Heights trails while Bunsing twenty-six to nothing at half. So some high scoring games, some low scoring games. We got a good one set in here. A minute left to go here in the second quarter. A slow moving game, but a lot of points so far. It's gonna be a screen pass. Anderson just not able to get away from that rush. It was a good setup there by the Frankfurt offense, but big number. Let me find him here. Brandon Smell, or excuse me, Owen Strothman stands. I'm going to give him at least six foot. Came off the end there, stuck his big hands up. Anderson just not able to get it around the outstretched hands of Strothman. So a tough position here for the Wildcats. Another dead ball situation. Just under a minute left here to play in the second quarter. Axel leading 56-14, to 14, but Frankfurt looking to get a score here. Going in, Frankfurt does not get the ball as they elected to receive it at the start. Good pass and catch here by Wes Anderson. 24, Trent Harden, Trent Harden with a juke and all the way up to the 20-yard line of the Eagles. Now you need to run with a little sense of urgency, but there it is again. Got the ball out to his receivers and a quick move there by Harden, able to break a tackle and rip off another 10 yards there for a big first down for the Wildcats. Clock running, 44 seconds left here to play in the second quarter. Frankfurt with the ball in the 30 of Axel. Anderson back to pass, looking up middle. Tries to get out of it, and the long arms of Strothman take him down. When I tell you that kid is six foot and seven foot long arms, he grabbed him from the other side of the field and wrestled down Anderson. Boy, that was an impressive sack. Nick Anderson wants a timeout after that. We're going to take it with him. It is 56 to 14 here on KNDY. Your hometown partner with any do-it-yourself project is Hometown Lumber of Marysville and Axtell Lumber of Axtell. Serving the community for over 20 years, expert knowledge accompanied by a helpful smile and reassuring handshake will tell you you're in the right place. 
With all your building needs, they are ready to help you. Stocked with a full line of lumber and hardware to go along with tools, plumbing supplies, paint, and lawn and garden, you'll leave knowing you've made the right choice by stopping at Axel Lumber and Hometown Lumber in Marysville. Sunflower Community Credit Union recognizes that members' health, both personal and financial, is top priority. In order to make your banking a completely safe experience, they're proud to now offer drive-in convenience, Monday through Friday, 7.30 till 5.30, Saturday, 8.30 till noon. Lending can be done remotely as well. Contact their friendly loan officers at 562-3741. New members always welcome. Call, go online, or drop by Sunflower Community Credit Union in Marysville for more details. Caring about your personal and financial health, Sunflower Community Credit Union. Frankfurt looking to get a score here, going into the second half, into halftime. 29 seconds left here to play. Second quarter, big stop. It's second down and extremely long for the Wildcats. Anderson's going to far throw near side, excuse me, far side to Harden, pass through the hands and incomplete. So now becomes a little bit of a question. You are out of timeouts if you're Nick Anderson. You're sitting at your own, or excuse me, the 30-yard line of the Axel Eagles. You have 30 yards to go to get a touchdown, 25 seconds left, but you are setting with a third and 21. So it's going to be a interesting play call here. You're going to have to have something, I would assume, moving across the field, run some screens, but so far the length and the speed of Axel has not allowed Frankfurt to get into that game yet so far tonight. Something's going to need to go out of bounds. If it stays in bounds, Frankfurt is going to have to hurry. It's going to be three split out left side. It's going to be Anderson with a two-step drop. Anderson is pressured. They want to hold. They didn't get a hold pass. It's going to be short and in some elite. So a decent shot there at the end zone as Anderson did have a receiver down there, but it was just short. Once again, a smart throw on the part of Anderson, leaving it short so it could have been picked off and takes away Frankfurt's scoring opportunity. But what do you do now? You have 19 seconds left. You have a 4th and 21, a 4th and 22 at about the 30-yard line of Axel. If you're Nick Anderson, I honestly would just probably run this ball. Let's get into half, boys, and let's see what we can do in the second half. Axel leading here, 56-14. to 14. Frankfurt's going to run up two on left side. It's going to be Anderson in the backfield with Smith to his right. It's going to be a snap to Anderson. Anderson's going to look back to throw. Pressure coming. Throw far left side. Picked off in the hands. No good. But we have a flag in the backfield. Let's see what this is. We have a holding on the defense. It'll be in Okay, so it was. I thought that was a little odd. It was holding on the Wildcats. So the Eagles will decline that. That will be the fourth down play. Axel will have one more shot here right before we go into half. Of course, Axel will take the ball coming out of half time. It is 14 seconds left here to go in the second quarter. I believe Coach Detweiler has two timeouts here left, so possibly two plays to get down into the end zone and try to extend this lead before we hit into half time. He gets into the halftime. It's going to be ball at about the 30 of Axel. It's going to be a two-man rush by the Frankfurt Wildcats. They're going to go deep. Has a corner pattern. Caught. Touchdown. Axel Eagle. Just like that, a 40, 50-yard touchdown pass from Isaac Detweiler to great to... Brady Bussing, excuse me, that was Evan Bussing, for a touchdown. Kind of taken back at words. I didn't think we were going to go into half with another score, but here we are. That was a beautiful pass and catch by soft, by senior to senior, making the score 50. Well, I really haven't got it up yet here. Since if we go, it'll be a 45. So it's going to be going for two. It's going to be a little screen pass here. Actually, they say they stepped out of bounds. So that's going to be a touchdown. But we do have a flag on the play. I guess he went out at the 10. So excuse my touchdown call there from Isaac Detweiler to Evan Bussing. I was a little premeditated at that. I thought he got all the way but stepped out on the far side. So that was a first down play for the Eagles. 
It's going to run out the clock to go into halftime, but there is a holding call on the Axel Eagles. Play did go for a touchdown, but that's going to move them back 10 yards here. It'll be one more play here. It looks like Frankfurt's going to... They've got to run one more play here, I believe. But at any rate, Axel was able to get down the field right before half without even a thought about going into halftime. And here we are. Axel still on the field. Frankfurt is running off as though halftime is good. So the play does stand as a touchdown, though, there at the end. For engineered roof and floor trusses, call an Axtel Truss. 12 to 80 foot span. Complete hip, cathedral, and floor systems using only the best SYP available. Deliver to your site undamaged on a roll-off trailer. Manufactured locally at Axtel Truss on US Highway 36, two miles west of K110 between Seneca and Marysville. Phone 785-736-2291. To keep your vehicle running good and looking good, all you need is m Auto Parts in Frankfurt. Motor oil, air filters, spark plugs, batteries, brakes, and more. m also has what you need for the outside of the vehicle. Wheel cleaners, glass cleaners, washes, and waxes. That's m Auto Parts, your CarQuest Auto Parts dealer in Frankfurt. The State Bank in Axtell is synonymous with quality and integrity in the banking business. Financing for your home, for your farm, or your small business. Contact the loan officers if you need money. Or if you're putting money away for something special. Or just saving for a rainy day. Visit with the professionals at the State Bank of Axtell. They're federally insured. Member FDIC, the State Bank of Axtell. Call Parthamer Electric at 268-0553. At Parthamer Electric, we specialize in residential and commercial electrical services and are dedicated to providing customer service that is second to none. Parthamer Electric won't leave the job until you're satisfied. Parthamer Electric is available at all hours and offers flexible services for indoor or outdoor jobs. You can visit us on the web at the Parthamer Electric Facebook site or give us a call at 268-0553. Parthamer Electric in Frankfurt. Back here at Axel as we got a little confusion going into halftime. Both teams are running off the field. It looks like we're going to go into halftime with a score of 56 to 14. We're going to take a quick break, though, real quick while we figure this out. Be right back on KNDY. The ND Buildings of Axel specializes in post-frame buildings. Give them a call for stud frame buildings with complete concrete and electrical work included. It's one call to get the job done. D&D Building, specializing in post-frame building construction, plus repairs and more. Always free estimates. Give them a call. B&D Buildings of Axtell, 785-294-0147. B&D Buildings at 785-294-0147. Your hometown partner with any do-it-yourself project is Hometown Lumber of Marysville and Axtell Lumber of Axtell. Serving the community for over 20 years, expert knowledge accompanied by a helpful smile and reassuring handshake will tell you you're in the right place. With all your building needs, they are ready to help you. Stocked with a full line of lumber and hardware to go along with tools, plumbing supplies, paint, and lawn and garden, you'll leave knowing you've made the right choice by stopping at Axel Lumber and Hometown Lumber in Marysville. And we are at halftime here as the Axel Eagles are leading the Frankfurt Wildcats after a little confusion there. We are going into halftime. Axel came out and laid a whooping on Frankfurt in that first cast, but Frankfurt continued to fight. So we are going to play a halftime here at Axel. We're going to come right back with scores and stats after this little break. You're listening to the KNDY's featured game of the week here on KNDY. Stay connected, stay informed. Get the Frankfurt community's top stories every week. Frankfurt Area News is a small town community newspaper dedicated to their advertisers, subscribers, and community. The Frankfurt Area News was established in 1991 and is the official paper of the City of Frankfurt, City of Vermilion, and USD 380. They love receiving news from their readers. If you have an engagement, wedding, birth, family reunion, or something you think local readers would enjoy, or to subscribe, get in touch with the Frankfurt Area News at 292-4726.
Western National Bank in Summerfield wants you to feel good about where you are with your money. Available when you need them and offering online and personal services, Western National Bank will make sure to keep you and your money happy. Call Western National Bank at 244-6211 to make your money smile. Member FDIC. It's service you can always trust at Sink Gordon & Associates in Waterville and Marysville. Their experience in all matters of farm, business, and individual income tax planning and preparation, estates and trust, accounting and payroll services too. Call Chad Parker in Waterville at 363-2263 or Aaron Wright in Marysville at 562-3858. Sink Gordon and Associates, comprehensive and innovative accounting in Northeast Kansas since 1946. FNA Construction will build it right. Call today for a quick quote if you're building, remodeling, or adding on. Enjoy your home more and increase its value with FNA Construction. They'll tackle your every project to make sure it's done right. For complete construction services, call on FNA Construction today at 292 4692. That's 292 4692. Back here in Axel as the Axel Marching Band serenades us as we have hit halftime here. Frank, or excuse me, Axel Eagles leading the Frankfurt Wildcats 56 to 14 here on this wonderful Friday night. Take a look at how we got here. Started off with a Brandon Smelsley 20 yard touchdown run, opened it up 8 0 in the first quarter. It was all Axel in the first quarter with a two yard Isaac Detweiler to Evan Bussing touchdown pass followed up by a 65-yard touchdown run by Evan Broxman. Right out of the quarter break, Frankfurt answered back with a 40-yard touchdown pass from Wes Anderson to Lane Loizo. That brought it to 24-8. to Axel answered back on a two-yard, two-yard Snellsley run, 32-8. to Frankfurt back at it, a two-yard touchdown run by Lane Loizo, who has both Frankfurt touchdowns here tonight. But after that, it has ended for the Frankfurt Wildcats. 32 to 14 is where we sat after that time before touchdowns from Isaac Detweiler, Evan Bussing, another Evan Bussing touchdown, and a Braden Schnellsley touchdown to send us into halftime. That is where we set 56 to 14. In this game so far, Axel has controlled it, got some early stops on fourth down, able to get great field position in their first two possessions, opened it up, like I said, early 16 nothing lead. But Frankfurt has not quit fighting. They have stayed in this game as they set 56-14 to 14 going into half. We are going to take a break with news, weather, and sports, but we'll be right back here on KNDY Featured Game of the Week, the Axel Eagles versus the Frankfurt Wildcats. Little Joe's 66 Service in Axtell is a proud supporter of Axtell Schools and Axtell Athletics. If you have automotive repair needs, call Joe at 785-736-2824. With satisfied customers from all over the area, Little Joe's 66 Service is the place to turn for all of your automotive repair needs. Just like our area athletes work each day in practice to perform at their best in the big game, the staff at Bruna Implement Company, your local Case IH dealer, work daily to provide the best parts and service experience when you need it most. Bruna Implement Company has been family-owned for three generations. We know what it takes to be successful as your area Case IH dealer. For the best in farming equipment with the service to back it, there is only one. Bruna Implement Company, since 1947. Back here on KNDY's featured game of the week. The Axel Eagles have a 56-14 lead here against the Frankfurt Wildcats. There's been scores. It was a slow-moving first half, but we finally got there after some confusion at halftime. But a lot of touchdowns, a lot of points were put up there. Axel will receive the ball here starting the second half. Of course, leading 56 to 14, setting at 42 points right now, looking to put this game away on their first offensive possession of the night. Frankfurt has played very well. Of course, I co- talked to Coach Anderson early on in the week, a little worried about the size and the speed of Axel, but Frankfurt has stuck with it. They have continued to fight. The boys are fighting hard. I've been especially impressed with the play of their wide receivers, Lane, Luizel, Ty Smith. And Porter Cole and Trent Harden, excuse me. 
So we're going to start off the second half with an onside kick. It's going to start at the 40-yard line. That's where Axel's going to start their offensive possession. It's going to be Isaac Detweiler, of course, leading the charge here with the first offensive possession here for the Eagles. It has been an absolutely wonderful night for football. I'm glad everyone out there has joined me today. I want to thank all of our sponsors for tonight's game as well. Of course, without you guys, this would not be possible. And all you listeners out there, really appreciate you listening, tuning in. Feedback as well is always a joy. It's going to be Detweiler handing it off to number 10, Eli Brocherman. He's going to go around the right side and be stopped for a one-yard loss. A little fight here for the Wildcats as they come out of half. It's going to be a second and a long 10 for the Eagles to start with here. And, of course, we're at midfield. Of course, Frankfurt trailing right now 56 to 14. Just started the second half. It was a fast-paced first half for sure. And a chilly night for football here. Not too many faux pas. There's been one interception, no fumbles, and only three flags. So a fairly clean game from each side. Some of the axle coming out, three bunched here left side. It's going to be three linemen, no man to the left side of the center. Interesting position. It's going to be a swing pass out here, quick right. Number 16, Brandon Snells is going to take it down the near sideline. He's going to be stepped out, pushed out of bounds about the 30-yard line. But a first down nonetheless for the Axel Eagles as they look to put this game away here just start of the second half. Been very impressed with this Axel offense, too, as well. A lot of points put up. There's been a few big explosive plays run, but overall it's just been a good offensive game ran. Players staying within themselves, not trying to do too much. Of course, it does help when your son is quarterbacking your team. You can kind of be in his ear a little bit more if your coach Eric Detweiler adds a little fun and excitement to the season. So Axel with a first down here, setting at about the 30-yard line. It's going to be same screen swing pass here near side to Brandon Smellsley. Picks up about eight yards. Going to move it up. and They're going to give him about five there. I gave him a little extra. We're going to call it about a six and five now for Smellsley. But same play, same little screen out. Got about five on that play, and that's the goal. Push it down in towards the end zone and get out of here with a victory. Axel leading 56 to 14 here. Frankfurt on the defensive end. Axel on the Frankfurt side of the ball, setting at about the 20 yard line, is the Axel offense. It's going to be two receivers left, one to the right. It's going to be Detweiler in the backfield. He's going to fake it. Detweiler looking seam, got seam, touchdown, Eli Brocksterman. So a good pass and catch there from Isaac Detweiler to Eli Brocksterman for we're going to call it a 26-yard touchdown pass. And just like that, that is going to end the game. One drive for the Eagles. Moving going to move the final score, 62-14. to The actual Eagles defeat the Frankfurt Wildcats. We'll be right back with scores and stats here on KNDY. Your opportunity, your solution, your success. That's Soother's Feeds approach, and that's what sets us apart. I'm Leanne Linton, and I invite you to experience the Soother difference. We're about visiting the ranch, walking your pins, and weighing the options to develop a ration combination that will be the most efficient and profitable for your business. Soother's, a family-owned company that identifies opportunities and applies solutions for your success. Soother Feeds in Frankfurt and online at SoutherFeeds.com. Soother Feeds, where your success is our success. Anyone can sell you soybean seed. Channel Seedsman plays product to perform. With Channel Extend Flex Soybeans and Channel Roundup Ready to Extend Soybeans, you'll get the superior weed control you want and the high yield potential you need. Make the most of next season with the Roundup Ready Extend crop system and expert recommendations from Channel Seedsman. Ask a seedsman in your area for recommendations for your fields. Check with your state pesticide regulatory agency for specific restrictions in your state Always read and follow pesticide label directions. Have an accident with your vehicle? Call Moonlight Restoration and they'll take care of you with a free estimate and they'll turn it into the insurance company for you. You name it, they can do it. Fender benders, auto and tractor restoration, windshield repair or replacement, spray and bed liners, sandblasting, dealer and installer of B&W hitches and drop and lock hitches. No job is too large or too small for Moonlight Restoration. If you want quality work done by skilled technicians, call Moonlight Restoration in Axville, Kansas. Owned and operated by Brett and Nikki Runnebaum. Call 736 2359 Whether you're buying 
building, remodeling, or refinancing, your home is a major investment in your life. At United Bank & Trust, we understand how important it is to work with someone who cares. Our loan officers have the experience it takes to make the process a smooth one. Come in for a visit or start online by filling out a loan application at ubankonline.com in as little as 20 minutes. Mortgage lending with United Bank & Trust. It's banking for your way of life. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Back here at Axel as the Eagles defeated the Frankfurt Wildcats 62-14 to here on Parents Night. Give you a score real quick. Marysville's leading Hiawatha 36-7. to Now jumping back to our game, going to run through a score here real quick. It was all Eagles in the first half, a slow-moving first half with a lot of points. Axel held a 24 to nothing lead. Going into the second quarter, Frankfurt answered with a 40-yard Wes Anderson to Lane Loizo touchdown, making it 24 to 8. Axel answered back with a touchdown run of their own, 24, 20, excuse me, 32 to 8. Lane Loizo got another touchdown for the Wildcats, but that would be the end of it. As the closest it got was 32 to 14 before Axel opened it up midway through the second quarter, scoring in 30 seconds on one play and running back and scoring just after halftime. Here, making the final score. 62-14. to 14. Axel Eagles win against the Frank Wildcats. We'll be right back with final thoughts on the game. Your hometown partner with any do-it-yourself project is Hometown Lumber of Marysville and Axel Lumber of Axel. Serving the community for over 20 years, expert knowledge accompanied by a helpful smile and reassuring handshake will tell you you're in the right place. With all your building needs, they are ready to help you. Stocked with a full line of lumber and hardware to go along with tools, plumbing supplies, paint, and lawn and garden, you'll leave knowing you've made the right choice by stopping at Axel Lumber and Hometown Lumber in Marysville. If your vehicle is looking like it just went through a money rally race, or perhaps it's been target practice for the neighborhood bird gang, then you need to get your car washed today at the Axtell Car Wash. The Axtell Car Wash has two enclosed self-service bays, even one size for semi-tractors. Just pull in, pay with your bank card, and wash all the dirt, mud, bugs, and bird stuff off your vehicles. You don't have to drive far to get a clean car. Just visit the Axtell Car Wash, proud supporter of the Axtell Eagles. Very Bussing. Bussing Construction in Axtell offers dozer construction and all types of soil conservation work, including terraces and water rain. Remember, conservation is the key to our future, and it all starts with you. Contact Barry Bussing and see how he can help you. Call Barry today at 736-2833. For conservation work, Barry Bussing Construction of Axtell, Kansas. Phone 736-2833. JD Construction wants to make your dream home a reality. Whether you want to build a custom home, remodel your current home, or add a new deck or patio, JD Construction can handle all your residential construction needs. They are also experts when it comes to agriculture and residential buildings. For small or large projects, consider a custom building from JD Construction. They'll give you high-quality work while staying on schedule and budget. Contact Jared Smith at 785-353-2312. From start to finish, it's J.D. Construction. Final thoughts here tonight as the Axel Eagles move to 7-0. Frankfurt drops to 3-4 and on this season. Axel Eagles defeat the Frankfurt Wildcats 62-14 to here on Perry Parents Night in Axel. Like I said before, it was a slow-moving first half, almost an hour of actual time to get us to halftime, but once we got there, it took Axel one drive to finish this off. It was early and often for Axel. They looked good. They looked like the number one team in the state. Defensively had a few faux pas, but always to be fixed. On the Frankfurt side, a good hard-fought game, good running by their running backs and wide receivers. Players never let up, just not their night to night. Sometimes that is how the game of football goes. Again, I want to thank all our sponsors for making this possible tonight. I want to thank Bruce Deerking back in the station again tonight as well. For the call tonight, I am Max Blasky here on KNDY. I hope everyone has a good and safe travel home, and we will see you again next Friday night. And our broadcast coverage tonight, the service of Landall Company, Axtell Trust Manufacturing, State Bank of Axtell, Bank Lenoya, MNR Auto Parts, Wilson Construction, Arthur Electric, D&D Buildings, Frankfurt Area News, Western National Bank, 
Little Joe's Service, First National Bank in Frankfurt, FNA Construction, Axtell and Hometown Lumber, Blue Valley Technologies, GNR Market, Soother Feeds, Moonlight Restoration, JD Construction, and the Axtell Car Wash. And our regional sports boosters, Can Equip, Sunflower Community Credit Union, Hometown Lumber, St. Gordon and Associates, Honeyman Auto, Kramer Oil, Bruna Implement, Channel Seed, and United Bank and Trust. 